and here you go, your ang panel ring is ready. So guys, here we have got a raw Rajapuri mango and it has got the perfect combination of sweetness and sourness which will make it a best choice for making the Ampanna recipe. So the next thing that you want to do is start peeling the mangoes. I think knife is a better idea. You want to make sure that you remove all the green things that are there over the mango. So I will peel this again. So guys here you see I have peeled the mango and now I am going to put this into the pressure cooker. I have added just enough water to cover the mango till half. So now I will close the pressure cooker lid. Keep this on low flame and wait for 3 whistles. Our mango is now ready to get cooked. The pressure cooker is cooled down. Now I'm going to open this and check whether the mango has cooked properly or not. So let's open this. Wow, look at this mango. You can see here, it's still hot, but the mango has got disintegrated. Look at this. Very well, and it's been cooked very well. So what we need to do is just transfer this into a bowl and allow it to cool down completely. But this is definitely looking very yummy. You can also check whether the mango is cooked. Just scrape this, see this? If this comes off very easily, that means your mango has been cooked perfectly. If the mango and the water have cooled down, then we need to remove the pulp of the mango for that with your clean hands. Okay? Just take the mango and start removing the pulp. Make sure that the mango has cooled down completely because the inner part is generally very hot and do not discard the water at all. See here I have removed the entire pulp which is in the water in which we had already boiled the mango. So you are supposed to keep this water and now you can discard this seed. I have taken a bowl here and I am going to place a sieve. Now to this we will add the pulp mixture. And now we will gently seal this. Now as you see there is no pulp remaining in the sieve and the entire pulp mixture has been transferred to the bowl. Now it's ready to go into the pan and get cooked for am panna. So now I will transfer the whole mixture onto the pan. Now I'll put the mixture on a low flame and bring this to boil. Now you can see the mixture has started to boil. The pulp that we got from the mango itself was roughly around 1 cup. So now we will add 2 cups of sugar. We will wait till the sugar dissolves. Now you can see the sugar has got completely dissolved. We will add about half teaspoon of rock salt. If you do not have this, you can also use regular salt. I am also adding 1 big heapful spoon of roasted jeera powder or roasted cumin powder just mix everything well now you can see the pulp mixture has got ready I have switched off the flame and once it cools down we will transfer this into the bowl so guys you can see the pulp mixture has cooled down and it is looking absolutely amazing it has become nice and thick and the color is also very awesome so we'll take a glass airtight container and transfer this arm panna So now I am going to close the lid of this. Now it is ready to go for storage. To make your am panna drink add 2 tablespoons of concentrate, few ice cubes, chilled water, sprinkle black pepper powder and garnish it with a bunch of fresh mint leaves. And here you go, your am panna drink is ready.
now I'm going to go ahead and give this drink a try. So let me mix it well. Wow, this is absolutely delicious and very refreshing. So I hope you have liked today's episode at Creative Cooking. Do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family. And for now, it's bye bye. But before we say bye, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the new upcoming recipes. Bye bye.